once you get rejected, it means that you have no right for everything in your family. Maybe you you can uh, live like regular people or uh, so-called normal people. You got HIV, you are gay, you convert from Muslim to Christian. So you you just you just nothing in this country. But you're still alive, so you have to deal with that. You have to deal with that limited option. Homosexuality is not a crime in Indonesia, except in Sharia-ruled Aceh province. But since 2017, hundreds of LGBT people have been detained in the capital, Jakarta, as part of a religion-driven crackdown. I came out for the first time when I was uh, 16, because uh, my brothers and my sister make a joke uh, of me. They always bullied me when I was a child and teenager. They said, uh, like, you don't have girlfriend, uh, are you gay? I was living in a small area. When you make a joke like that, it spread. So everyone knows that, hey, you are, uh, you, you're not normal, you don't like girl. At that time, I only know that when you like boy, that's wrong. My dad also say you have to to try to like girl. Not all my family hate me. Only just my older brothers and sisters. But they have power to to reject me, to, to make me out from my house. Bagus spent months living on the streets when he first came to Jakarta. He then began to put his life together by fixing computers, writing papers for university students, and learning web design by watching online tutorials. Today, Bagus has steady work as a freelance designer, and he's been in a relationship for five years. As a gay person, uh, I, I can show our feeling. I can hold my boyfriend's hand, or I can have a family with him, with my, my partner. You know, when I live together with him, I have to pretend that he's my cousin, not my partner. I have a dream that someday maybe we will have our, our own house. Nowadays, it's like impossible to... We live in the fear of uh, some people will rate us. We have different hobbies. I really don't like his hobbies. He likes to watch uh, football. He's crazy about football. He will watch it all night. In 2015, Bagus found out he has HIV. At that time, uh, both of us didn't know about my, uh, my HIV status. Uh, the doctor was uh, said that I'm HIV positive, and I was, you know, when the doctor uh, said that you yeah, HIV positive, it's like uh, I don't ha I don't know how to describe it. It's like you're already dead at that time. You throw away your dream. I saw my friends, my close friends, my Facebook friends. So many of them uh, die because of AIDS, because they don't have access. They didn't have uh, access. You know, I'm lucky enough to get uh, the information, to get the treatment faster than them. The problem in Indonesia, yeah, the most problem is when you're a gay person, you need uh, information about sexual health. I see so many health issues based on sexual activities. And we don't get any information about that. Last two or three years, it's getting worse. The local government uh, don't allow us to express our community. And so many LGBT even uh, 
is banned. Homophobic rhetoric by politicians and Islamist groups has dramatically increased since 2016. Authorities have targeted sexual education and STD prevention activities in an effort to deter LGBT relations. The most conservative voices have reached Indonesia's parliament, where a revision of the penal code threatens to criminalize same-sex relations. And then mm, I told my boyfriend that I'm a HIV positive. I break up with him. I, I don't want to have a relationship with anyone. I want to live with the virus alone. I, I have no idea how to do a treatment at that time. I, I have nothing about uh, HIV. And uh, I try to do what? Suicide? Yeah. Try to do that, but it, it didn't work. <laughs> I'm still alive. I try to take so many medicine so I hope uh, I will never get up, wake up. But uh, in the next day, I still get up. So I think it's not that, uh, I think my time is not now. Six months later, after I got the treatment, I learned about H living with HIV. He came to Jakarta. He was like, I promise you to, to be with you in the good time and bad time. So now this is the bad time. So I have to keep my promise. So when I can uh, uh, be with you in the bad time, in the lowest moment, I think it's more easy to, to enjoy the good time. International rights groups have highlighted the crackdown on Indonesia's LGBT community, but because of pressure from hardline Islamists, not a single political party in the country dares to speak out against it. Some equate this with political suicide.